Hi, I'm Nathan Birma. This is a demo screencast for a demo course in Canvas. It's not a real course and I'm not a real professor, but all the materials we're talking about are real. They're commentaries that you can find in the assigned readings. Uh, but this is just to show you how screencasts work and how they fit into an online lesson in Canvas. So let's take a look. John 1, the prologue, our topic for this lesson. Let's take a closer look and see what the commentaries say about what the prologue is trying to achieve. What are the goals of the prologue? based on how we read it. Well, one seems to be that the prologue is evoking Greek philosophy, specifically this idea that there's an abstract cosmic force that governs the universe, and it's, it's ultimately very rational. Uh, some say that Logos should be translated reason, uh, as Carson points out. Um, in any case, it seems possible to commentators that John is trying to capture this idea of Greek philo from Greek philosophy of this abstract governing principle uh, or person behind the universe and say that that person, that that force is Christ. And to make a startling claim that that abstract cosmic force can become incarnate as a person. So it seems possible and likely to many commentators that some of this Greek philosophical background is there. It doesn't really come through in the English translation of word, but especially as we read the Greek, we should be looking at that. Commentators also point to ties to Genesis 1. The Greek text of Genesis 1 starts out anarche, in the beginning. And that's how John starts his gospel, and commentators say that that's very deliberate. That John is, in a sense, writing a new Genesis and pointing to Christ as the creator, the one through whom all things were made. The ties to the Old Testament are very strong. And finally, to frame the rest of the Gospel, Carson gives that chart of parallels between key words and phrases that become key themes throughout the rest of John. Light, life, glory, truth, Son of God. All these will come up in key ways throughout John's Gospel. Carson goes as far as to say that these connections are so clear that the prologue shouldn't be thought of as separate in origin or author. Uh, but in any case, there are clear ties in ways that the prologue sets up the themes of the book. And we'll be taking a look at that in the exercises for this lesson.